I definitely feel not only like that I can affect the system, that it is my responsibility to. If we knew nothing else, we as teachers have an obligation to try to train good citizens. The center started at UCLA in 1965 as an interdisciplinary uh, committee on civic education. The mission is to help young people learn how to participate competently and responsibly in the political life of their community and to use the fundamental values and principles underlying our system as a guideline or as a moral compass uh, in that participation. The Center for Civic Education, the recognized leader in the field of civic education, offers innovative programs for elementary, middle, and high schools in established and emerging democracies around the world. With offices in Los Angeles and Washington, D.C., the Center implements its programs through a national and international network of educators and other professionals with the support of members of Congress, state legislatures, local public officials, and leading non-governmental organizations. It's a philosophy of teaching which invites children not just to be part of the process, children are the process. The center implements its distinctive curricular approach to the study of civics and government through a variety of programs, including We the People, the Citizen and the Constitution, We the People, Project Citizen, Foundations of Democracy, School Violence Prevention Demonstration Program, Civitas International Programs, Representative Democracy in America, Campaign to Promote Civic Education. They need to know how the system works, what they can do, how they can become engaged. That's, that's why I think what the center is doing is so important. Why is due process important in criminal trials? It's a, an academic program in which students uh, learn uh, about the history of the ideas that are fundamental uh, to the American constitutional democracy. It's not a history of dates, times, and places, and so forth. It's a history of ideas. We the People of the Citizen and Constitution program is a program for elementary, middle, and high school kids on the Constitution and Bill of Rights. The instructional materials and activities of the We the People program provide students a hands-on guide to understanding the Constitution and how it affects their daily lives. The curriculum is designed very interactively. Uh, students are involved in certainly reading the text, but also there's a lot of interactive kinds of strategies that, are, that students are involved in. Group work, certainly. Uh, simulations, certainly. Simulated hearings. A highlight of the program is the National Finals, a competition for high school students held each year in Washington, D.C. Winning classes from every state and the District of Columbia compete by demonstrating their knowledge of the Constitution and Bill of Rights. The final day of the competition is held in congressional hearing rooms on Capitol Hill. The event takes place over an entire weekend. All 50 classes will uh, do hearings, an entire hearing, and that means the entire class uh, on Saturday and then again on Sunday. The purpose of the hearings is more than just winning. It, it's really, it has an educational purpose. It, it, uh, it, it's, a, it's a means of deepening students' understanding of what they're studying. It also uh, teaches them participatory skills. They learn how to make a point before uh, authorities in, in an open hearing. They also learn how to respond intelligently to questions. Uh, they also learn, possibly one of the most important things, is how to work cooperatively together to make a presentation, to make certain points. After the Monday uh, day hearings on the Hill, uh, that evening we have a banquet 
Uh, we give out unit awards, regional awards, as well as the top seven finishers and then the top three uh, who are, uh, uh, you know, in a sense, the champions of the whole event. The champions for 2005, ladies and gentlemen, they come from New Jersey. <laughs> I think by far this is the best civics program in the nation and as a result young people learn to think critically. In 1996 the center launched We the People Project Citizen, a program on public policy making that promotes participation in local and state government. Project Citizen is a model of interactive uh, methodology in the classroom. Uh, we believe that in order for young people to understand what it is to be a citizen, they actually have to engage in the processes of citizenship. They have to learn about their rights, but they also have to learn about their responsibilities. We decided that we would have kids go out into the community and identify problems in the community and then try to find out what institutions are responsible for dealing with those problems and then come up with their own proposed solutions and then try to have an impact on those institutions. It's really it's civic engagement at its best at the grassroots level. The first step is to have students look at a variety of, of issues or problems facing the community. This is the problem identification sort of stage. Step two has the young people identifying one problem that they would like to work on as a class or as a, as a youth group. The third step has the students conducting research, gathering information, finding resources related to the problem that they have selected. In the fourth step, the students are creating and developing the portfolio uh, to display their work and prepare for the hearing, which is the fifth step. In the fifth step, we have a simulated public hearing. The simulation is based on the nature of the problem the students have chosen. If it's a city issue, it might be the city council, a school issue, the school board. If I had a chance to do the project again, I would, because it just wants you to look at the problems in the community and try to make the problems better. To watch the kids get into a discussion about an issue that they're passionate about, you know, to me, that's kind of what it's all about. They're, they're taking the outside world and bringing it into the classroom. Project Citizen is conducted with the assistance of the National Conference of State Legislatures, which, at its annual meeting, features the national showcase of outstanding portfolios from each state. This is a terrific partnership from NCSL's standpoint, because our goal is to help young people better understand the public policy process in the United States. And Project Citizen is the premier program uh, for, for doing that. Three models of understanding different parts of justice. The center's original curricular program, Foundations of Democracy, focuses on concepts fundamental to democracy such as authority, justice, responsibility, and privacy. Designed for all grades, it is widely used in both the United States and abroad. I want you to be thinking about how Jessica Fish wants privacy and how Worm has to limit her privacy because we're going to be talking about the limits of privacy later on. In 1999, the Center initiated the School Violence Prevention Demonstration Program, designed to investigate how the teaching of civics can contribute to the formation of student attitudes that counter potential violent behavior. The program incorporates curricular materials from We the People, Project Citizen, and Foundations of Democracy. The School Violence Prevention Demonstration Program is an opportunity for us to go into the schools and work with children specifically using civic education in order to improve and change their attitudes towards things like 
tolerance of others, respect, responsibility, working within institutions, working as part of the solution, and having students understand that knowledge is important and it's powerful, but it's only powerful if you know how to use it. The program is conducted in selected urban districts as well as private, rural, and Native American schools. Because the Center's programs focus on the fundamental ideas, values, and principles of democracy, as well as on civic engagement, they have proven to be readily adaptable for use in schools worldwide. The Center and its network of colleagues in the United States assist educational leaders in other nations to implement civic education programs in more than 70 developing and advanced democracies throughout the world. In the International Department, we're trying to translate to the international arena the goals and objectives that the center pursues domestically, which are to train the next generation of students and teachers to take their place uh, as citizens and to try to do a better job than many of us have done as adults in advancing our democracy. In addition to sharing, translating, and adapting Project Citizen curriculums, the Civitas International Exchange Program has brought materials and professional development to teachers in both New Jersey and Senegal. We gain new ideas about teaching strategies and lessons, culture, and even music that we can use to enhance our Project Citizen program. We also gained ideas about how to improve our democracy. Kids are so happy and they are also doing some wonderful things. The projects that they choose come from the restructuring of, of the educational system to water supply because that has been, many have been doing tremendous things uh, in their schools, in their communities. Much of the success of the center's programs can be attributed to the challenging curricular materials, the innovative classroom strategies, and a wide range of professional development opportunities for teachers. We start developing textbooks with a small group of scholars and practitioners. Uh, and as soon as that group feels that it's ready to be reviewed by other people, uh, we widen the circle and eventually, uh, in some cases, we've had as many as 2,000 people reviewing and critiquing the textbook. In doing that, we're sure to involve people across the political spectrum, as well as people that represent the racial and ethnic diversity of the United States. So all points of view, all perspectives are considered. In our professional development institutes, we have two major goals. One is to prepare the teachers to teach the program in their classroom and to use it successfully. And the other is to increase their own level of knowledge, both about what we mean by public policy and how citizens engage. We structure all of our professional development activities to directly engage the teachers in the same thing that they're going to be asking their students to do. The center also joins with other organizations to expand the reach of civic education endeavors. In the Alliance for Representative Democracy, the center partners with the Center on Congress at Indiana University and the National Conference of State Legislatures to undertake a wide range of activities. The Center's major activity in this project is a six-part video series on representative democracy in America. It's designed primarily for high school students, not only to increase their understanding of our political process, but encourage them to make their voices heard by taking part in that political process. Another major project of the Alliance is the annual Congressional Conference on Civic Education, sponsored by the Joint Leadership of Congress. The conference brings together policymakers, state officials, and educational leaders who work together to enhance the civic mission of schools in their states. In addition to its programmatic efforts, the center conducts a national campaign to promote civic education. The goals of the campaign are to reaffirm the civic mission of the nation's schools and to encourage states and school districts to enhance civics in the K-12 curriculum. 
The Center has made landmark contributions to the field of civic education with the publication of several highly acclaimed documents. In 1991, the Center introduced Civitas, a framework for civic education designed as a resource for scholars and teachers. In 1994, the Center published the National Standards for Civics and Government, subsequently used by 40 states as they develop their own standards. In 2003, Res Publica, an international framework for education and democracy, was made available on the Center's website. Designed for high school, college, and adult audiences, the Center's most recent publication, Elements of Democracy, explores 39 concepts essential to an understanding of democracy. More than 4,000 scholars and educators worldwide contributed to the development of these publications, which provide the most expansive and authoritative frameworks for civic education in the world. Various research studies focusing on student knowledge, attitudes, and skills have demonstrated the effectiveness of the Center's domestic and international programs. Research on Center programs has shown that students become more politically knowledgeable about the Constitution and about politics at state and national levels. Students also participate more in the political process. For example, a study showed that 92% of the alumni surveyed from the We the People program voted in the 2004 presidential election. It really has increased my sense of the value of democracy because I realize that I can play a part in my government. In a time when people call their generation very apathetic, uh, they have become very attuned to the issues that are out there and very determined to make a difference. If you look at the writings of Jefferson and Adams and others since the very founding, the idea that a citizen sh citizenry should be educated is just a, comes part and parcel with the idea of democracy.